look at this. What is up my warrior angels? Today is the turn of this Sebastian liquid gloss, which is basically a styling product, anti-freeze polishing drops. These are supposed to, you know, help you tame the mane, smooth out, reflect tons of light. According to the official video, uh, it can be used both on dry or damp hair, but it is actually advised to use before styling. Okay, Sebastian, so you have uh, a tough contender today. <laughs> Let's uh, dampen the hair a little bit and see what this bad boy can do. This is actually my first first ever Sebastian product. Growing up, my mom was a big fan of the Sebastian Potion number nine. Potion something. All right, so it has to add just two pumps. So one, two, spread it throughout the hair like so. And then the video also suggests we use a puddle brush. I feel like I haven't used one of these in like ages to blow dry, but we're gonna do that today. You made this work, I made this worse We felt the part a thousand times, a thousand times You moved away Okay, so how is this looking so far? What do you think? We felt the part a thousand times Okay, so far the bottom layer is looking a okay. However, it is kind of the layer that is more protected from the sun and it's not as highlighted as the top layers of my hair. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Once I have blow dried the entire thing, I think I want to try at least on one side on dry hair so we could test it out both ways. Okay, this is looking really sleek, straight and smooth. Also, it feels absolutely lightweight. I can see how this technique actually helps make the hair sleeker as you are blow drying. So using the petting brush kind of brings me back to when I was a teenager. Probably nobody wants to hear the story, but that's how I started blow drying my hair. It's just easier. It's more intuitive to do it like this. The only downside of using a puddle brush, I think, is that it's kind of more difficult for me to create some tension there. You know, I may uh, dig into some new puddle brushes. This one's way too old. I don't know, help me out on this one. Um, let me know in the comments below which one I should be looking into. Let's check. Shine. <sighs> yep. <sighs> for that, they call it liquid gloss. <laughs> it is glossy. drying my bangs with a puddle brush. I guess we can try. That's actually a lot better than I expected. So far I don't feel the product has dried my hair. Quite the opposite. Let's finish this side then I want to look into the ingredients. I know a little bit too late right but oh well it's done. Beautiful, beautiful result. Such a small amount of product. I mean, just two drops and look what it can do. It feels like there's absolutely no product in there. Can I maybe come closer so that you guys can see this better? Do you see that? I get it. It's like lip gloss, but for your hair. 
All right, so at the risk of ruining the whole thing, half of it, one pump, so that we can see what effect it has on dry hair. Oof. I'm so glad I just did one pump because it just becomes a little bit more noticeable. I wonder if it is going to absorb really fast or not. So which side with or without that last drop on dry hair? I feel that both sides look quite okay to me. This side does feel like it's lost a little bit of movement and volume. Not too much. It's like sleeker and straighter. I think you can absolutely see the difference, right? So I guess if you're going for that very straight sleek style, you're gonna want to apply just a bit as a finishing product as well. Whereas if you're going for a very natural, more bouncy, a little bit more voluminous look, maybe you can skip that last drop the right actually feels a tiny bit softer. Can you see the difference? I mean, both sides clearly are bouncing tons of light, but this side, woof. Those are kind of my thoughts. Let's take a look at the ingredients. So, hmm. those of you who feel very, very strongly against products containing silicone, you're gonna feel very strongly against this product. In fact, dimethicone is like the fourth ingredient in here. Dimethiconol, which is a derivative, is the third one. It's, it's quite loaded. <laughs> and it makes sense because dimethicone does give you that silky, slippery feel. And that is a wrap, my warrior angels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you in some way. As always, thank you so much for your support. If you ever decide to use my links on this or any of my other videos, stay brave. You are a warrior with the heart of an angel. And I will catch up with you guys again on my next one. Do you wanna follow? Click here.